The question is find the direction cosines of a line which is perpendicular to a line with the direction cosines proportional to 1 minus 2 minus 2 and 0 minus 2 1. So this has a lot of complications in the term of wording like perpendicularity proportionality but do not panic the question has to be solved step by step and is very simple. So I write here solution and I know what is the story like find the direction cosines of a line which is perpendicular to a line with the direction cosines perpendicular to these and these. So let the direction cosines of the required line be L M N. I can assume so because ultimately I have to find the direction cosines of a line. So for that line I am assuming the direction cosines to be L M N. Now these direction cosines are basically of a line which is perpendicular to a line. So L multiplied by 1 which is L minus 2 into M is this minus 2 into N should be 0 because condition of perpendicularity says what A1 A2 plus B1 B2 plus C1 C2 something of that sort. I mean L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. Now similar to this L into 0 is 0 L plus 2m plus n is 0. So now you have to find out the solution by cross multiplication method which you did in your junior classes. Now different ways of cross multiplication some of you will write l m n and then upon and then solve. I prefer writing l minus m n n. Now l you vanish so minus 2 and then here it is minus minus is plus. So minus 2 plus 4 is 2. m you vanish 1, n mu vanish 2. So, we find that the result is something like this. So, you have the required result in the form 2 minus 1, 2. So, whatever the result is, it is proportional to 2 minus 1, 2, but that is in the terms of direction ratios. Now, talking about the direction cosines, you know that if some methodology says like this, this actually means that the required direction cosines would be 2 upon under root 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is 9. Similarly minus 1 upon root 9. Similarly 2 upon under root 9. Now which is 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 2 by 3. So that is the required lines direction cosines. So see first of all keep it very clear in your mind what is the direction cosine and ratio. And then see what formulas have to be used based on the condition of perpendicularity and parallelity.